Hello folks and welcome. You're either new to the aisle or like me. Had bad solo experiences that kept you from even getting really started. The problem I've heard is that there isn't enough good information, nor is there a community that fosters growth in the game. Luckily I'm here to fix that. I'll address the community aspect first. I'd stumbled across a new server named Noobs. Not only are they active, but they are helpful and encouraging. They have also made some server tweaks that made it easier for new players to get into the game. They have a very active Discord and regularly do giveaways and events. Noobs is actually a big reason why I'm doing this video. Now I'm not getting any incentive for mentioning them, just that it would be a great place to start. And I wanted to share that information with you, because I'm not a total dick. With that out of the way, let's go over some of the things that you need to know from the start. This is a survival game and you have three stats to manage. Stamina, which is used when you run, and then food and water. Stamina regenerates when you stop or rest, and I'll get to that in a bit. You have to eat food and drink water or their respective meters deplete, and then you'll start taking damage and then you'll die, and I'm sure some of you have already experienced that. Now finding food or water is a little trickier, but it's still relatively easy. You need to sniff the air with the default button of Q until you see the weird compass lines come up. If water is within a certain range, you will see it through terrain. If you are a herbivore, the one type of edible plant will light up bright green. That's right. With all this greenery around, you can only eat one freaking type of plant. I know vegans can be picky, but holy shit. These dinos are starving and only want to shop at Whole Foods. As for predators, you won't find other animals when you sniff, but you will see tracks of anything that has passed by recently. This is not as cut and dry as the herbivores, but it is offset by two things. The first is that anything that moves can be killed and eaten. The second is that as a predator, you can sniff while walking. This falls in line with the fact that predators are usually faster, and that they don't have to stop helps ensure they can cover more ground. Not really sure why herbivores can't walk and chew gum at the same time, but there it is. The second thing you'll want to know isn't actually in the game, and that's a map. Thankfully someone mapped out this large island, and you can plug in your coordinates to see your location. I'll link to the map website below. Just use the first set of numbers from your latitude and longitude. So why the map? Since there is a lot of dense jungle, and there are repeating textures, it could be extremely difficult to know where you are. And just as important as knowing where you are is knowing where to find what you need, mainly food. If you are a herbivore, you'll want to make your way to paradise. Though party fields can be a happening social spot, you'll want to steer clear if you're trying to avoid predators. Use this information along with the compass when you sniff to know where to go. Next is night vision. It gets dark in the game, like really damn dark. Since you will still have to most likely move around to hunt or avoid being hunted, there's luckily a feature in the aisle just for this. Hit the default key of N and you will see an area lit up around you with a night vision effect. It doesn't have the infinite distance of daylight, but it should help you avoid dangers, like stubbing your toe. You're going to get hurt at some point, either in-game or emotionally. To start the healing process, press the default button of H to rest. You are very vulnerable in this position, I mean you can't even sniff, so try to do this somewhere safe. You can also use this to recover stamina much faster. In fact, some adults can only recover stamina while resting. I'm looking at you, T-Rex. What turns some people off in the aisle is a feeling of loneliness. Ironic coming from gamers who play alone, but there is actually a social aspect in the game, though you're never really given any instruction of how to use it. Ever wonder what that mail icon is in the lower left? It's not email, but messages coming through on chat channels that you haven't clicked on yet. Hit enter to open the chat windows and then click on the global tab. A little weird, but once you know this, you will see quite a bit of traffic come through. A lot of these people that are on here will be more than happy to help you out and possibly group up with you. Not like that, you perv. So how do you group? Well, so glad you asked. Hit tab and then you'll see a list of all the people currently active on the server. Click on the plus icon next to a person's name and it will send them an invite. If you are being invited, you will be greeted with a pop-up asking if you want to join the initiator's group. Hit F1 to accept or F2 to decline. 
If you ever see a nest invite come in, do not accept it unless you already know what you're getting into, because this will screw you over at some point. Listening is crucial as it's a key part in the survival aspect of the game. As a herbivore, you need to know if that was a predator and where it is in relation to you. As a predator, the same applies, but with the added element that food spawns make unique sounds. Depending on which type of predator you are and at what stage, you need to know if you can take down that prey. Take note of the different sounds all the animals make. Each controlled animal can make four different sounds. Some are friendly and some are warnings. Make sure to use some good headphones so you can effectively locate, determine various calls, and still chat with other people. There's a lot more information to cover in the aisle, but this should help you getting started to have fun. Because being a dinosaur is badass. If you have any suggestions for what other types of videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and take care.